Select a memory. Select a file. Thank you. 
Okay, what? Okay, why? <laughs> For some reason, my microphone was muted. So it's just shenanigan every going on with OBS again. And hello there, pizza. <clears throat> uh, let, let me do a repeat then. Hello right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Please remind Lieutenant Rocky are at your service. <laughs> and welcome back to Sonic Adventure. Where, yeah, for some reason, OBS is still having some technical issues. Like, for some reason, when I swap scenes, sometimes, that sometimes the display capture turns off, even though it should still be on. But that time it didn't do it for some reason. It just seems to be utterly random. Hmm. But yeah, let's see. Pizza, ta -da -ta, how are you? And hello, also hello, Vakir, how are you also? I'm myself, I'm doing good. Health is getting better, still passing out time to time, but hey, I finally beat Paper Mario, the Kawagami King. It was super fun. I got my, I got my new game today, and it's super fun too. Let's see, new game is Star Ocean, the second story R, and so far it's been great. I haven't gotten in super for like only 30 minutes to an hour. <clears throat> The combat of the game so far seems similar to the Final Fantasy games from the Final Fantasy games I have seen. I think, yeah, I can see your mom moving with your mouth and says, yeah. This shenaniganery going on with OBS again. I also, I, we discovered that something goes wrong every now and then with the audio recordings for some reason. So I, I mucked about a bit in the settings and hopefully now that shouldn't happen anymore. Like, the, the only reason we discovered that was because there was a joke we made, the sewer counter one, that was just completely missing from the recording for some reason. Yeah, and that you, I did here, but we had moments where we both, or all of us, did mute it temporarily. Mm. Okay. Select a character. Let's see, last time we got started with this game, and let's, well, continue let's on go. with it as Sonic. <laughs> And yeah, we're playing the Dreamcast version here. Yep. I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Tails made a new airplane in the Tornado 2. It's really great. Except that when it transforms, it has no landing gear. <laughs> anyway, you finally managed to board the air carrier. The ship is really huge. It may take a while to find Amy. Okay, so it... <laughs> this is something I'm pretty sure Sonic Adventure DX doesn't have. Like, little recaps of what you were doing last time, or what happened just before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, clarification. We, it's a Dreamcast emulator. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's a Dreamcast version running on an emulator, so not Don't too much to... Too many ideas, you fools. You haven't seen the power this vessel really has. Get a load of this. <laughs> the meme line... Exaggerated expressions and such. <laughs> Let's see. Tails sounds like an actual this kid with that VI. Yep. Um, <laughs> but what were you doing there, <laughs> Sonic, for a sec? Uh, let's see. I'll be lurking and talking here. There. Okay. Oops, you put off his own present. Uh, fine today. And I believe Tails is actually voiced uh, by a woman. Or. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> like just jump off. Uh, he's been. Yeah, there's, it's quite often that uh, younger male characters get voiced uh, <clears throat> by uh, female voice actors. Something with it being easier on their throats or something, maybe. Okay, let's try and not jump to our death this time. Yeah, and I, I guess it's probably easier than uh, being around to have to speak 
really squeaky curly voice that I think is probably a... Tide is luckily dying out. Yeah, if it works, it works. Yeah, but yeah. let's be honest. <laughs> Those I don't know if you met any kid or young person who speaks with a typical squeaky voice. Yeah, that, that can be really annoying. I'm personally a bit more resistant to it than most, I think. But, yeah. 50 50 to me. Depends on how it's done. And of course, depending on if I have a headache or not. Yeah, because that's just going to make it worse. Yeah, especially if you're sick. Then it's just. just uh, oh, God, ammo is right now. Please calm down. <laughs> Wrong way, Sonic. <laughs> okay, of course we get this of course we get the speed shoes in an area where we need to time our runs. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure sometimes they put that thing somewhere just to screw with people. Uh, yeah, let's see. see. Something on uh it's a lover? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, they usually do that with the little kids in games. Damn, damn it. Okay. Yeah. The e example of uh, not getting back as many rings. We had like 130, and <laughs> I got less than 20 back. Uh, usually, do that with little kids in games. Since too. Right. I, I, you, you want me to read the chat? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from Pizza Lover. Yeah, they usually do that with the kids in game since because of the vote calls, since puberty, yeah, no. Plus, it's also very hard to find any actual kids for voice acting in games. So, um, an adult female can get the job done for voice in kids. And not and. Alright. Okay. Yeah, they, they, it's more than just games, it was videos, uh, videos and movies and such, but. Uh, they have been some more kid voice actors who have been slowly getting up. Like, very many of the, of the voice actors in uh, Camp Cretaceous is just all around the ages the characters are. Yeah, this is faster. I, I, I repeat, around, okay. not spot on. Actually, we, we can do this to climb. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a new figure. <laughs> Okay, we need to get to the fourth pillar to turn those things off, and yeah, I was going the completely wrong way, it seems. <laughs> okay. Get up. Yeah. Why are you not... Okay, apparently Sonic is a bit picky about where he grabs onto those, and those just keep sliding in from the from above. Wait, what? <laughs> no, okay, he, he, okay. Keep, he keeps falling and respawning, or are you reacting to something else? So something else that I hope is not true. Let's see, I will read out for you. From this lover, I think in South Park the... Park do the... Oh, I gotta try that. I think in South Park they... Oh, for a lot of... I think in South Park do they... The producers or... I don't know what you call them. But they had their own kids do the voice acting for the games and show. I hope not. Uh, probably for only the younger characters, because I'm pretty sure with South Park it's mostly the two uh, creators who do like 98% of all the voices. Yeah, they, they had more, but some of them left for various reasons. Yeah. Yeah, some of the reasons I. Yeah, in most people you should never mention in your videos for the... They will be drawn like locusts, somehow. Mm. Yeah. Oh, lovely yeah, sound. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we, got a, we got a bird from that. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so hang on to one of those things, for example. Okay, I'm guessing the siren is the notification that it is going to be speeding up to try and throw us off. Okay, no, it's instead Eggman will, <laughs> Eggman will just call it out. <clears throat> Life? Now, give me some of those back. Yep. Yeah. How do I call it? They, they, they are way too harsh with their real punishment. Okay, so this thing functions in the aircraft carrier as well, which makes sense, seems giving it size. Let's not fall down into whatever is down below. Uh, mini boss fighter or something? Oh, come on. That was just a bad luck moment. I just think I... I don't know, know if I notice the drama issue. My just my brain having a bit of brain lag. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's the checkpoint. Okay. Apparently, Eggman hired Donkey Kong for the interior design. <laughs> and I'll, I'll comment on all of that once uh, I don't have to focus on not dying. <laughs> He's just messing Thank with you. us now, but he's tilting this thing to and fro. He almost got run over by a barrel there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. Personally, I haven't watched it. Personally, I haven't watched any Solid Park in pretty much forever or so. Like, I just do not like. Do, I do not enjoy the show really. Same. Like, it has I some suppose. points every now and then, but for the most part, just uh, yeah, vulgar and gross humor like that for me puts it on the same rank as uh, about Rick and Morty. As in. Okay, it may have some points, but if it was a bit less up its own ass with it and just going for shock instead of actual quality. Oh, come on, how many times are I going to fall off that place? Uh, the first season I saw of Big Mode on Netflix were actually good, but from the small clips I see of the recent ones when they went to HBO. Uh, uh, yeah, no longer for me. As for some point, they have had the one or two early seasons that were good. But there of we course, they went quickly to just overdoing everything. To just vulgarity. And plus, uh, this is yeah. also the fact that the, I think it turned out that the voice actor for Rick and Morty, because it's the same guy, was an abuser or something. It was unused to me. Let's see. Oh, and I found a video of Trey Parker and his daughter voicing Ike in the in South Park. Okay. Uh, what that reminds me, sometimes I can't get to see being a kid, but they only allow them to do some certain line that you would probably only allow kids to do. But many, many of the characters like Cartman and the other main characters, definitely not kids. Yeah. Like, I yeah, think I get some points curses as well, so not the best parenting to have your kid uh, voice that. Oh, not the curses. All sorts of vulgarities and topics that you should not have someone around the characters each week. This would also just make it worse for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, you killed me, this fucker, I meant. Yeah, that's, it's in, uh, there seem to be a few kids who secretly watch some folk that were not supposed to and learn from it and, uh... 
Yeah. <laughs> Even as a kid, I did not like Soundpok. I did not get it, and I noticed I instantly when I met someone who loved Soundpok. I was uh, under my uh, under my age, uh, was like over or around my same age, but it was so annoying to be around. <laughs> it just because I was swearing non-stop, thinking they were cool for doing so. Yeah, yeah. it was not. Let's see, uh, uh, Tori Baker and his daughter for an Ike, yeah, it's the baby or toddler or so. Like, come on, let go. There, there we I go. I thought I could be the, uh, a kid. I thought I could be the green as I like a kid. Sorry about that. I will calm down, though, because it does seem like you guys are having a bit of trouble concentrating. Yeah. <laughs> It's not really tough trouble, but I can't. It's more that I can't really split my attention from this since well, there's just everything flying all over the place. Hi, tails. Uh, uh. Okay, this way, and there we go. Uh, let's see, the thing is about parks, yes, the own kids, yeah. I've even seen a video of it. If, you do, uh, if I do find yeah, it, I'll send it to your Discord, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Tails trying to get, desperately get into the frame. Uh, well, right. Also, they, they used... I should put this one back on, since we're doing well, a Sonic. They used to have more voice active as on Park, but maybe they quit for various be. reasons. But let's check out the bridge. Okay, like, and main main now we're in the carrier. I think, yeah, most of the voice actors, original voice actors, I quit due to... Yeah, they did not want to take part in the many topics they were, uh, were mocking and all that. Okay. And they just, just, uh, just said, just raised their hand and walked out and just went, Nope, I don't want to no longer be part of this. There's yes. a lot of controversy around South Park. Yeah, it basically will go after everyone. Which in yeah. some cases is a good thing. Like some things just need to be said, but sometimes you're just doing... You're just doing shits just for shits. Uh, the shit of it. Yeah, I think the biggest one I heard about is the chef's original voice actor, which I shall not mention too much for. Again, the topic feels cursed to mention the certain group he was part of. Okay, I just hope I didn't mention too much already. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and it's another Chow Park. Okay, what, hey, what now? Big fucking, yeah, the, another... Is this another uh, Chow... Was it Park? I, I think... I'm pretty sure I named it correctly the last time that we streamed this game. We have Chow Garden. Chow Garden is the name, is the word. Oh, Chow! I thought you said Chow! <laughs> I was wondering, wait, another sound? What the heck is it he on about? Okay, I, I really, I think I really should instruct you sometime at how to put Discord as a higher priority process so it has less uh, shenaniganery going on. Oh, hello, two of these. Okay. You mean I should stop watching the video and focus on listening? No, uh, just so that there's a better audio connection. Anyways, let's just get out of here. This is all just extra stuff that is not really related to the story. Okay, plus it's it's done better. The Chow Gardens are done better in Sonic Adventure 2 anyways. Mm. There is something that in the, uh, if I remember correctly, in the Sonic Adventure DX version, they actually use the uh, same system, the same Chow Garden system as in Adventure 2. Yep. Um. Let's see, enter restricted. Okay. The hot shelter entrance is closed. Okay, so yeah. the, the place is basically unlocked now. Eh? Do not enter. Okay. <laughs> really? Well, that, that, that one kind of makes sense. <laughs> uh, you'd think he'd just make a Roomba or something, but no. 
Um, Apparently he just made a robot maid. If they make a new game now, they probably would use a Roomba, but this was before Roomba was a thing. True. Uh, what does this one say? The monorail is out of service. Okay. We need to find somewhere to go here. Or wait. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, does the elevator have to spin? Really? boss fights. Also, something I should probably note is that on OBS, the game slash desktop audio bar is basically... It, it's a, basically, it's a good thing that I put in a limiter on how loud it can go, because it's basically a solid green bar. <laughs> I'm just happy I always have about the uh, volume for the game. And you yeah. know how you volume. <laughs> All the dialogue is audible over <clears throat> the music and such. It is audible for me. It is for me as well, but I can see what you all got. Yeah. And yeah, now uh, we have the second to last of the characters that we can play as unlocked. Auto recovery system activated. <laughs> Let's see. Tails, you got anything to say? Yeah, I don't think we want to be on top of this thing when it goes down in flames. Uh, also, a freaking pool. <laughs> okay, not this way. He abandoned the ship. Uh, I think he wouldn't abandon it that fast. Uh, let's see, this way? Uh, yes. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. Okay, in here. Okay, I thought that I thought the bridge would be further back. 
Okay. All right. Yep. Too early. We need to light dash up. Yep. Oh, come on. Okay, that's not supposed to fail. Or okay, apparently that's a one-time thing. So okay, there. Is this a lounge? Oh. <laughs> no, this is the bedroom. Okay. Uh. Eggman and his egomania, huh? And it just leads out. Well, let's be honest, he'd be the entire shift. Then he probably can afford a luxury room. Yeah. And also just an entire bloody... An entire bloody swimming pool on board as well. Okay, can I try this again? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It looks excessive, but at the same time, look at all he has built. He probably needs it to just relax off all the work. And here we are, the bridge. The switch to transform the egg carrier is somewhere in this room. Let's see. The heck is the. Is the heck was that? I'm guessing it's something to help aim the weapons or something. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess we can just press every single freaking button. <laughs> Hello. Ah, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, the, the fact that the thing transforms like that. Too. The fact that the egg carrier can change shape like that is part of why I like it. Like, I'm presuming that the, the current mode that it's in is like a speed, is for speeds, and the other one is for... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what for, but presumably it has some function as to why it can go with its wings spread out wide like that. Maybe for more lift so it can go into higher altitude or such. Maybe? Okay, then that's where we go. Over there, there he is. Along with someone else. And then it's changed shape again. Oh no! Not again! Chaos! Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes! Attack Sonic! No! Froggy? I must say Froggy! If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail. You won't get away with this, you madman! I will! You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet! Okay, Chaos, destroy them all! Immediately! <laughs> uh, hello there, Lazarus. You doing well today? Hello, Lazarus! <laughs> that Lazarus, not Lazarus, that's someone else. <laughs> Ew. Okay. I'm gonna try to figure out an easy nickname. I figure out easy figure out. Lashy is probably a bad uh, nickname. Let's see. Eggman's throwing bombs. Uh, oh, I think I see what we need to do now. Pretty simple. This has been big up or not? Okay. Don't need to. Don't. It's not about getting him to inhale those. Uh, um. Let's nah, see. Lash is asking us. Uh, are we all? Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Give me a few of those. Let's see, when... When is he vulnerable? I don't really remember this fight that much. Do we need to lure those into him? No, they seem to pass right through. Do we need to get him to inhale them? Hey. Hmm. There has to be some point that he gets vulnerable. 
I'm just drawing a complete blank on when he does. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, Lazarus. Uh, it, it has been forever since I fought this boss. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the, the music in this game, it, not just in this series in general, is just amazing. And I think it's Taylor stuck there for a second. Let's see. Yeah. I think it really does have something to the uh, homing attack those eyes. Oh! Okay. Uh, ow! Okay, and now remember, we need to freeze him. I, I thought. Ow! Without Eaten! And that's our first death there. <laughs> okay, I, I remember it's something with uh, freezing here, but I... Yeah, it would have been nice if I'd gotten that hint earlier. Yeah, that does it, okay. Since, well, Chaos is made out of liquid, we can't normally harm him. Or too much, at least. Yep. And there. Ooh, that was a new one. I like the uh, trick, yeah. When he's uh, frozen. Yep. Apparently, he does double damage. Okay, let's give that a shot then. Yeah, thank you for the tip, uh, Lash. <laughs> no way! I can't believe it! Oh, oh yeah, that did more damage. Okay, yeah, thank you, Adai. Uh, ow. I didn't know that one. Give me that. That one as well. It does make sense. No so it does it. sound like one of those logic uh, and developer they skip accidentally. Okay. It's a lash. It's how you beat Chaos 6 in two hits rather than four. Yeah. Okay, gotta keep moving. Ow. Okay. Yeah, luckily those don't damage. Also, it seems that the camera is just plain stuck now at the moment. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, okay, we can... If we hit them near him, it'll also freeze him. Okay. <laughs> Funny how you can still discover new stuff about old games like this, huh? That you've never, you know, that you haven't played in a while. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Lazarus. No way. I can't believe this. What? I can't hear you over everything. Uh, you sure about that, Sonic? <laughs> Apparently he is, yeah. He's <laughs> jumping off the ship. Who knows how high up in the sky. Uh, I hate Eggman. Where's this? I don't remember seeing this in the DX version. Mm -hmm. That light. I think it's trying to show me something. Hmm. Okay, it is. It's in there. Okay. I guess I must have just forgotten then. I do remember that we chased the light into a temple. 
Okay, and now we can play as lost character Big, who, well, a lot of people hate. Yeah, it's fairly Fishy minor one? scene, so it's forgettable. It's... Okay. Wait, you why you? do people dislike the Fisher? Yep. Okay. okay. This is a for someone who is yep, from outside of fandom. Why is he hated? Because people just really don't like the fishing part, the, the fishing of this game. <laughs> uh, whether that is a skill issue on their part or if it's just bad design overall, we'll see when we get there. But personally, I never really disliked the fishing game. And uh, let's see, Lazarus, ever since the comics, I've come to really like Big. Yeah, I I've, I've always liked Big. Maybe because he's just a big freaking teddy bear or maybe... Uh, again, I'm not unsure if I played the DX version of this game first or Sonic Heroes, but, at which, in which he's also a character. But I guess people hit it for when they see him, they think, oh no, the fishing game! <laughs> yeah. Ow. I will not hate him for the, the fishing game. I, I, just, I will probably just hate the fishing game and not the character, unless they are like. Stan? <laughs> yeah, which they aren't. <laughs> okay, fun fact these fire pillars are completely random. This tube is speedrunner hell. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> Alright. Next! Yep, yep. Press the three in the room to open the front door. <laughs> yeah, this is not uh, Indiana Jones's favorite level, huh? <laughs> Okay. Doom snack. Press this switch to raise the water level. Home stop snack, yes. Okay. Now where can we go otherwise then? Let's see. But this is Indiana Jones' best music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> basically every ooh, basically every track in this game is good music. Ooh. Okay, where do we take off? Uh, we can't stay on the water for too long. There we go. Yeah, that's one switch. Yeah, I thought that it was a boss. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's just scenery. <laughs> well, not just scenery, All but right. it's also a platform, but still. Alright, good enough for the shape. Like, change. For usually when you see a giant serpent, you expect it to be a boss. <laughs> Now let's see, they're in a giant circular room under a giant fuck-off spotlight, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't see how people would think it is a boss, because... Well, this, this, in any other game, this would totally be a boss room. Okay. One more dip. <laughs> in a way, it's kind of sad that this thing isn't a boss then, yeah. Okay, not, don't think we jump off there. I'm not yeah. really interested in being able to figure out. No, because this was not made for a weapon. This was made for transportation. <laughs> uh, and yeah, they're, they're not really hidden, huh? <laughs> Let's see. Again. <clears throat> and then we get out of here. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> It, 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 let's not fall off. Let's not fall off. Because Sonic can't swim. Okay. I can never tell when to attack... It. Well, oh, come on. I can never tell when to attack some of those enemies like that. Uh, nicely blocked by four ornate snake statues. No, uh, no attempt to hide them at all. Giant spotlight right on them, yeah. Also, just jump scare almost there. <laughs> also, uh, wait, yeah, do we have this to... looks like an entry to a boss fight as well. Okay, yeah, we have to do it again. Oh uh, well. Hmm. <laughs> nah. 
Yeah, it, at least it's not too big of a thing. It's we, we could have been put back like half an hour or so, but the checkpoints in this game aren't that terrible. In, actually, I think in most Sonic games, the checkpoints are almost always done pretty well. Yep. The camera might need a bit of extra work, though. But that's because I don't currently have control over them. Oh, I probably should double check that if, uh, in the settings. I think I said I would go look for that, but I forgot. <laughs> Let's see, I half expect to hear the Sonic Drowning music. Yeah, <laughs> if we'd stayed on the water, it might have started up, but we actually fell out oh, of the no. level. I almost forgot that, that was a thing, the drowning music. <laughs> yeah, and this... One thing with the drowning music that's... It's not with the music itself, but it's more how it was used. Is, <clears throat> there's a mod called... There's a... Yeah, there's a Friday Night Funking mod. Oh, oh, oh come on. That's all about... That's uh, <clears throat> all about the uh, Sonic EXE creepypasta. And they actually used the drowning... Uh, they actually used samples, or at least the rhythms, from a lot of the tracks you know, from Sonic games in that uh, mod for, as a base for music. And of course, one of those is based on the drowning music. <laughs> the drowning music was horrifying to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah, about the only game with crappy checkpoints, of course, 06. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, the SA1 doesn't use it on the water stuff much at all, but the browning music is there, okay. Just in case you stay on the water long enough for it to actually... Oh, pardon. Come up. Some extra lives there. I don't think we need it. We already have 11. Wait. What and did I just jump off at the e wrong place? Oh, no. you... You don't know Sony EXE abuse. I don't know if it is better for you to learn it or not to learn it at this point. It's yeah, it's a it's a creepy pasta like those uh, old internet uh, horror stories and such. Yeah, uh, it, it's if, if you want an introduction of it of sorts and well get good music whilst at it, just uh, in YouTube type in FNF uh, Friday Night Funking and then Sonic.exe. And I think that should give you a, at least a decent feel for how the creepypasta goes. I'm personally not a, really a fan of you know, creepypasta, so it's not for horror in general. But still, I, I can uh, appreciate the work people have put into... Well, how much they've woven out of all of that. Yeah, Sonic is, is a internet horror based on Sonic. Like the cursed video games and all that. Yeah. Uh, in general, I would advise to just go look through a, a bunch of Friday Night Funking mods, or at least videos of people playing them, because th there's some just really good music with that. Uh, oh, no, 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 Lash. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sony EXE is part of the good horror. It was made before Young Scares. Actually, I'm just going to ignore you. There. So the EXE is more of... It's not Young Scare, it's more of... A the nerf. uneasy, horrifying feel of it all. But you will feel tense listening and reading about it. Not it's... Young Scare. Yeah. Oop. Hello? Use the mirror to help guide you. Mirror? Yep. If you ah. get your skill from it, it's more from you. Oh. Okay, gotta be careful. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Be careful, he says, and then still gets burned. So, oh, come on! <laughs> I don't know if you think about it. I don't think any creep must that rely on jump scare. Yeah, the, the written versions can't really, but uh, yeah, of course, video ver uh, uh, videos uh, based on them, those are likely to do jump scares. Uh, actually, 
Yeah, no, I see so many do, do not rely on jump scares. They rely on, no, hmm. intensity. Like you feel you being watched and all. Yeah, but like I said, in, in written format, it is basically impossible to do jump scares and such. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh you still are on about the damn Friday night funking. When I speak about Kim Foster in general. Yeah, uh, there's something that way. Let's go take a look. Oh, another shield. Okay. There we go. I think I skipped a, a bit that you would normally need to do for light, but okay. Let me, oh. oh. Uh, how is this going to work? Okay, that does work along with the uh, with the magnet shield. Damn it! I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I, I remember see some. Uh, uh, hmm? uh, one. Uh, I remember well, one uh, of the one things that uh, got one of the differences that got pointed out between the DX version and this game, as uh, something they screwed up, is those uh, those chameleon bots. Like in the DX version, they pop up for like half a second, making it basically impossible to attack them. Hmm. Anyway, you go ahead. Uh, uh, let me just say, I see if they talk about these chapter things. I'm just gonna say. Some people take fan work in the weirdest direction. <laughs> True. Okay. And the most also uncomfortable directions as well. Uh, yeah, it, it, would, it wouldn't be a ruins level without at least one big ass boulder, huh? <laughs> Did they use. Mm. Set the boulder on fire? Yeah, yep. Okay. Yes. Nothing there. Let's see, I'll check chat in a second. Once uh, we slow things down a bit again. Damn little fire starters. And of course, there's a penguin in there, the complete opposite of a fiery beast. <laughs> okay. Uh, now let's see, with uh, how you're describing this, it's way worse than the Zootopia abortion comics. Okay, I don't even want to know, I think. Uh, that should be never... Uh, plus, it's... Uh, damn it. Okay, just going to avoid that thing. Uh, plus, it's... Uh, it's what has been called by the internet, it isn't the actual name. Yeah, my friendly heart just got stabbed. <laughs> Fair enough, though. Uh, okay, we moved those with that. And they change gravity once they are aligned. Okay. Yeah, in case you haven't thought in a Jones hard enough yet, yeah. It's like a piece of the original comic which was taken out of context and turned into hell. Of course, it'd be a penguin in the fire pad. Like, I can imagine Robotnik finding it funny and thus rolling with it. Yeah, that would totally fit him. <laughs> yeah, no. Wait, I saw something. Go back. Go back to the levitation thingies. Hmm. Oh, right, uh, there right we here. Go. Um, wait. Mm. Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful not to jump confirm. off. What is all the crashing I'm hearing? There. I thought it. Ah, damn it. I, I thought I heard something like crashing a pottery or something. There's. Like there. I don't. Oh, I, I think it's these things that are making the noise, and I'm just hearing it wrong. Why are they on fire? Because why not? More Illuminati thingies? <laughs> okay, also, let me just scroll back in chat because I think I missed a bit. 
it's, it's, uh... Okay, I didn't miss a bit. I just it just looked a bit like that to me. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh. Come on. Huh? You survived. Okay. Wait, do I really need to re? I need to reset these now. Right. That, that begins right. The, oh. Oh, the rings mostly as an extra life, but also just for like score. A yeah, for score and basically uh, shielding as well. It definitely sounds like something is crashing out all over the place for some reason. Or is that the sound that these things are making or something? Also, hello there. There. Okay, let's go straight up this time again. It, uh, fell for it again. Give me some of those. for it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving around in these, this game is a, can be a bit of a nuisance since you have to deal with momentum. So, where's the other ones? Now, there they are. Since it, you can't stop on a dime, but it also takes a bit of time to get well speed going, typically. Okay, not going for that again. Uh, oop, oop. There we go. Uh, let's see, it's like the movie Cars, almost it starts off all right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, come oh, on again. Let's not get into the car things. I see people try to do... Yeah, I think I've seen the, oh, what's it, the click, we can picture all people to try to theorize how the them cars work and it's not of you mm -hmm. so if you're right the second part goes off into the ditch but instead of recovering it tires to climb back up and it falls down so hard it reaches the core of the earth <laughs> oh come on that, that was just me bouncing off the thing <laughs> uh, of course i break it up this time <laughs> Uh, that sounds like something I'd rather avoid. Uh, everybody should avoid it. I should make that my mission post haste then. The first... The second Cars movie I will fully give that that thing is just an abomination that should never have existed. But a good part of the first one, uh, if you're a car lover at the very least, is at least a, yeah, one watch. Which, and yeah, my fa I'm not a car person, but my father is. And he highly enjoyed just that everything is cars, even the freaking scenery, if you keep an eye on that. Like, if, if there's hills in the background, yeah, they're shaped like cars as well. And technically, I could have... I could have... I could have spared myself out of climbing up by just getting myself killed and respawning here. Oh, well. Oh, dear. Let's see, I'm not even talking about the Cars movie, I'm just giving an example. Okay. Yeah, first Cars movie, pretty good to decent. Uh, from there on, avoid like a plague. I never really liked any of the Cars. I think Cars are going that, it just felt like, not for me. Okay, let's get out of here. And of course, I go face first into another of those. Get me out. Nope. Come on. Thought so. Hmm. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, snap transition. Yep. <laughs> I wouldn't expect that the game would crash or something there. Yeah, not bad. Uh, that's... Oh, by the way, those clanking noises you mentioned, those the spikes. Probably, yeah. 
There was a bit too many of those there. Also, Sonic being a cat and just following the laser pointer. Did you do, pizza lover? What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? <laughs> What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good. Well, that was certainly something. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? And also, hello there. <laughs> How does nobody notice this thing over here? Okay. In we go. And yeah. This is where Eggman has been basing all this time, actually. A big freaking tower in the middle of a jungle with spotlights shining all over the place. Also, hello. And that, well, that he was a uh, cop content. Nope. Let's see. And over here, we have someone else again. That's a, no, no, it's very hidden, Helian. <laughs> Those snake switches, nobody will ever know. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we have Metal Sonic. And I believe over here, this is... Uh, I believe this one is called Robo or Sil... No, it's not Silver, I believe. Like, Eggman has made many, many robotic hedgehogs. Yeah, it's a bit hard to keep track of all of them. I recall seeing a horror video or something about that. And apparently that is a something like that that was apparently cancelled from the comics and some games for I forgot the, what uh, the reason they just abandoned them. But seeing him there, I guess they made him as an Easter egg. Maybe. And see, it's one of these tricks is again, isn't it? That we somehow have to light them all up. Let's see. There. And... Yep. Okay, no, it's... Okay, so it does move on to the next one over. Uh, let's see. Best trick, I believe, is to try and push them towards one spot. Or to one side. There. Um, let's see. There. Yep. Right. I keep activating the same one right here. Then we... There, that's all of those gone. Now we just need to... Shut all of these off. And these... 
And these puzzles can be oh, really hey. easy or really annoying depending on your first moves with them. Yeah, it, I feel like most of the time when you finish this one very quickly is most likely out of accident. Not always, but likely. <laughs> okay, now I can finish it off. <laughs> there. And there. For right. Oh, I think they all need to be activated. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Oh. Final egg, stage 10. So get to the center of the base. And of course, immediately we get thrown about by whatever this thing is. Okay. Let's just move on. There. Uh, let's see. No, this version of Metal Sonic was never actually used, except in the comic once. <laughs> so bad at the right sock puzzles. Yeah, it, even with me, it, I, I'm not much good at them either, so it's just mostly random flailing around until something uh, starts to resemble a solution. And yeah, I was gonna say this again, absolute banger track. <laughs> And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Lazarus is talking about the one I'm talking about as well. So the back in they talking about that one, there was another one that was meant to come in, in one of them, but never did. Okay, yeah. For me, I thought you were talking about the same music, but no. No, no, I was talking about the characters, not the music. Yeah. Let's see. At least, I can agree with last year, the music is good here. Yeah. Again, that is something in like 95% of all Sonic games. The music is going to be good no matter how much the rest of it may suck. <laughs> good. Uh, you want to call it strongly? And I, and I muck it up by misjudging the distance or the height. <laughs> Uh, there's actually a new Sonic game that released, like, less than a week ago or something, though I don't know exactly on what platforms. There's something with Dream, not, not Dream Team, but similar-ish names. It... Yeah, let's see, definitely about the only Sonic game I can you know, know that has truly terrible music is Sonic Chronicles. Yeah, and that's in part because... Well, it's on the DS, so it has a very, it has a lot bigger res restrictions in what it can actually do with music and such. Not to say that the DS didn't and couldn't have good music. Just well, almost fell down. Guess they managed to muck it up there. Let's see. Okay, it is Sonic Dream Team. Okay, I, 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 I was thinking of Sonic Dream Team first, but then I was thinking that's the same name that uh, one of the uh, one of the Mario and Luigi games has, Dream Team, and of course. <laughs> uh, let's see, that excuse doesn't hold up. DS didn't hold back Chronicle's soundtrack. Good old shit composition and low effort did. Okay, yeah, like I said, uh, the DS could do good music. Yep, that, that, hell, there's two other Sonic games on the DS that had really good music, the Rush games, and we'll get to those eventually. Let's... This way. Hmm. Yep, I'm, I'm guessing that in part, perhaps, just the normal music po folks that would do, well, the music for Sonic games weren't involved or anything with Chronicles, since it was Bioware doing it. Wait, what? Yep. Yep, Bioware, Bioware oh, aka the people from Mass Effect and um, MDK2, they did a Sonic game, a Sonic RPG to be exact. Hey. Okay, RPG should be fine, but... You should never... The RPG is all you should know for having very good music. And they... 
Okay, just knew it's Bioware. I, I, I am I'm kind of shocked though. Bioware is also usually known for doing good musical games. Let's see. So what Fun, the fact. Heck? Fun fact, apparently Bioware lost the master records for the soundtrack, so they rushed in an insanely shitty set of quick remixes to replace it so they could release on time. That would certainly oh, explain oh. quite a lot. But that's just that's just bad practice. Like by a, a Bioware of that age should know <laughs> not the rush stuff. Then again, when did when did Chronicles release again? Was that before or after Dragon Age 2? Because Dragon Age 2 was also a rushed as all hell. And yeah, sadly, Bioware has is long, long past its prime with everything. Uh, let's see. Bioware's reputation was stellar at the time. Chronicles being this being shit was <laughs> shocking to many. Personally, I enjoyed it reasonably enough, but perhaps that was just <laughs> because I had low standards. <laughs> I still would have liked to know where the story would go eventually. Yeah, I would... I think I mean, we talked about this before, that I feel like it's good to have a... Not overhype yourself, but not underhype yourself either. They kind of try to be in the middle. Uh, you do. I, was, was Chronicles also Bioware's first DS game? Because that would also certainly explain a lot. Like, I, I've said it plenty of times in other places with things as well, especially when we're doing the Rayman games. But if you're going to try something new on a new console, with something you haven't tried before, don't do it with a major IP and such. Do it with some throwaway new IP that you can make to just have try things out. What the hell with those? Uh, let's see, um, Stellar, I mean, she was shocking. They were the guys that made Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. They had a staggeringly good rap, yeah. <laughs> okay, for a moment I thought I immediately jumped into a death pit. And as if they say also, yeah, we both by EA didn't help, it didn't do them any famous either, even though they think that's the true. And IP is uh, intellectual property, pizza. So, Sonic is an IP, uh, Mario is an IP. B basically, what I mean with that is to make so make uh, something new, not... If you... The example that I always use is Tonic Trouble, which is what Ubisoft made to get a, a feel for 3D platforming before they tried and you know, before they uh, made Rayman 2. So, well, they knew how to do things. Uh, him? Uh, you yeah. mind it with Lash. <laughs> okay, apparently the, apparently the mind parasites between you and me are also spreading to Lashers. Yeah, for you said the same thing he said about the examples of Sonic and Mario. Yeah, well, they are the two most obvious examples to pull out. Oh, uh, Lazarus, if you want to know a real, uh, <laughs> a real one uh, brain cell moment, uh, yesterday me and Rakira said the exact same sentence nearly at the exact same time. Yeah, like we said the same word and maybe two, three words in a row, but an entire full maybe word sentence we just almost finished. I just broke off when I noticed it. he was saying exactly the same thing as me at the same time. And when I noticed it, I stopped out for I was getting freaked out by it. I think I, I think I got, uh, I, I think I clipped that out, but I haven't uh, made it into an actual, uh, a, 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 I clipped it out in the uh, video editor, but I haven't actually made it into a video yet, I think, or a functional video at least. So where's the, uh, there's the exit. But yeah, basically what I was trying to say is, if you're, if you are a company and you're, you, you're going to try something new, make a throwaway thing instead of a full-blown, uh, yeah, 
a full-blown uh, sequel or something in a dip in a franchise that has a reputation. Because the throwaway, you, you can fuck up all you want. You could probably even write it off as a tax uh, thing. But at the, even no matter how much it sucks, you will get an experience from it. And well, there will be no harm or well, not much harm done. Oh, God damn it! Dead air heal. Dead air. Let's try it again. Yeah. And yeah, that is why I would say that Tonic Trouble might not have been an amazing game on its own or such, but it did pave the way for Rayman 2, which is, well, <laughs> an amazing game. Ready, yes! There we go. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Another emblem. And the camera freaking out for a second. Let's see. Time for the boss that stunned me for ages when I was a kid. Even lower poly Eggman. What in the name of... Egg Viper. Also, did, did anyone else hear grunting noises there for a second? The heck was up with that? Get a load of this. Get okay. A load of this. <laughs> okay. That that is that is a very obvious audio difference with the draw. DX version. <laughs> I do not remember those sounding like ping, ping, ping. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, this is where the line comes from, mostly. Uh, uh, damn it. No. I went too early with that, I think. Spike. Face first. <laughs> Wonderful. Ah, uh, poor Sonic. And yeah, I, I remember having trouble with this boss as well, when I was originally playing the DX Get version of this game. Those laser sounds like pin, like like pins in a pinball table more than they sound la like lasers. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Okay, just stay moving. Oh, the lasers sound like lasers. Hit this button. I think there's something. I think there's an instrument there that the pins that it's about to fire. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I was doing that way too early. We need to jump attack off the uh, the glowing bits and then hit Eggman in the face. Oop. Hey, we. You know, I think it's the sound it makes on the impact. See if you can make it through. It's not on impact. It's more on load up. There you go. Get a load of this. Yeah, I mean those sounds with the Get lasers hitting this. the... Yeah, they're, they're sounding the moment that they hit the ground. Okay, this is new. Okay, we can just run underneath him. Here we go again. Okay, maybe I'm just getting a slightly delayed audio. <laughs> Get a load of this. Get a load yeah, we are. Of this. Ew, he's speeding up. Get a load of this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
hit. Oh. It's no use. Give up. Hello. and you can make it to the cockpit. All systems. Yeah, Eggman is being very cocky with all of the loads he is uh, giving her. Hello. I can't believe. Ah. <laughs> okay. And yeah, if we take too long with this, he will destroy every He's single platform for us to stand on. It's no use. Give up. No way. I can't believe this. Watch out. He's up to something. Okay, so he goes in for one last kamikaze attack. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Okay, let's see. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. <laughs> Bonus facts. Uh, I use all systems full power as a soundbite for donation alerts. <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard that come up a few times on your streams. suddenly cut <laughs> and yeah that's sonic adventure one from sonic's perspective <laughs> uh Lazarus, every time i play sa1 that sound bite plays and i have a padlock <laughs> wait what a <laughs> right reaction <laughs> uh. we, we, we fall from dawn again but this is the way to show up yep and that is why I have, well, these other sidebars, because we'll be playing through the game as the other characters as well, of course. And then we get to finally fight the actual final boss for... Yeah, pretty sure the damn thing we saw in the mural is the final boss. Yep, like he's in the freaking introduction <laughs> intro. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm trying to avoid that part in mentioning. Chaos character designer Yui Ikawa. Yeah, I, I, I butchered that so. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I think this game is, based, is from a time when voice actors weren't too often credited, so if they passed by already, I completely missed them. Also, just this music. Uh, every character gets their own theme music that plays during the credits, and I, I would just suggest to give all of them a listen. Just, just give this entire soundtrack a, a run on YouTube. Yeah, and... I suspect it, it would be more likely to be showing on a Japanese theme like this one. And I think in Japan, the uh, voice actors were... Especially you know, the years now give it more and more credit. It's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna be a slow part on the Western market uh, to actually recognize the voice actors. Yeah. Let's see, Glasher's happy music noises. <laughs> noises, I can type honest. <laughs> Uh, vocals, Johnny Guelli, uh, okay, so those are probably, no, okay, no, those are f for the music, not the voice actors. Yeah, there's a lot of people on music, huh? <laughs> I 
Oh, oh hello, Japanese character voices. Okay, no attributing who to who, though. English character voices. Not there. And yeah, there's one man there that some people may recognize from uh, other games. A certain John St. John. Who? Duke Nukem's voice actor. Uh, do you want to take a guess as to who he voices? If you don't actually somebody said it. Wait, wait. No problem, Lazarus. Yeah, Big the Fucking Cat is voiced by Duke Nukem. Just... Just give me a moment. <laughs> Scream in your pillow in this plane. Right there. That, that is something that will always be utterly hilarious to me. Like, you've got Duke Nukem, and then this big fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh brother, I got pulled my own glasses. <laughs> honestly, that is <laughs> that, that is part of the reason why I like Big the Cats. Though I didn't know it at the time, of course, and I when I originally played DX. But it, it's just a fact that just made me like the character even more. <laughs> it makes me more concerned. <laughs> like, has someone dead I do games? Always file to a video about Big. <laughs> like you see oh, Big, no. but instead of a uh, big voice, you hear Duke Nukem's voice. <laughs> the, the, I, there and probably are read. people who did that. Oh, oh and I should totally look that up. <laughs> that would be utterly hilarious. Hilarious or nightmare fuel. Select the key. Shut the dreams. Now that we're done with Sonic, let's continue on, or start, actually, as Tails. Uh, in a way, this, in a way, playing as the other characters is sort of similar to how it goes in Retribution, but the levels are in different order, and each character has different objectives as well. Everything's working great! All systems go full speed ahead! Uh oh, what's this? No! Oh, that's a soul I haven't heard in ages. The Looney Tunes. Oh, not the Looney Tunes. I feel like I recognize the, the most from. Oh, what? I think he's called the English Catch the Pigeon. <laughs> you know, the Dick Dogs, the Dick Dostedly, Muttley, yeah. and the Pilot Crew. <laughs> Catch that pigeon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is a classic sound effect. <laughs> and yeah, we're not going to say Tails as Tails, of course. <laughs> You're lucky I saw you come down. So what went wrong anyway? It's not like you to crash like that. Yeah, it's just that I'm testing a new prototype power supply, and it's not fully compatible yet. You can always borrow my plane, the Tornado, if you want. Thanks, Sonic. But if I can make this work, it'll run circles around yours. Check out this power supply. It's a Chaos Emerald! No way! I was lucky to find one of the seven Chaos Emeralds. They have unlimited mystic power. Now I want to harness that power to fly my plane. Let's go to my workshop in the Mystic Ruins and I'll show you what I've been working on. We'll go to the station, hop on a train, and get there in no time. 
Okay, there are some differences between each uh, storyline, but in general they are just different perspectives on uh, the same uh, happening. Actually, can we go... No, we can't go there immediately because there's a shortcut to the station there. So we'll just have to go this way. Okay. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Yeah, yeah. The characters play mostly the same with controls. There's just differences in uh, some things that they can do. Like, tails here can fly, of course. Somehow, when he just twists his tails in it <laughs> at an insane speed, which probably should have shattered all the bones in them, if there's even bones in those floppy things to begin with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can fly for a bit. And when he gets gain speed, he starts spinning well, his tails well, to speed up. Well, if it isn't Sonic and Tails. Silence! I am Dr. Robotnik, the most cunning scientific genius in the world! Yeah, right, Dr. Eggman. Enough! I've been working on a master plan, but now it's time to put it to work! That usually means trouble coming from you. Don't even try to be here this time. Give me that Chaos Emerald, or else... Or else what, huh? Or else I'll take it from you the hard way. Let's see. It seems to be playing as a case of this is how Tails remembers events, this is how Knuckles remembers events, etc. Yeah, it's it's like people retelling the story, same story from their perspective, which of course means they're going to uh, polish up their own look in that a bit. Okay, the egg hornet again. Uh, yeah, which keeps things varied enough, if nothing else, yeah. The, the problem with uh, Dawn of War 2 Retribution is that it is basically this exact same story being told, uh, just being run through with different, different uh, factions, with only minor, or negligible minor differences mostly. Is Eggman a robot like the same person? Yeah, his his name is Ivor Robotnik, but everyone just calls him Eggman, and he absolutely hates it. Yeah, because he's shaped like an egg. Yeah, dude, here's a problem. I've heard many people tell me Eggman and Robotnik are different people. Yeah, that, that might be in the comics, because in that there have been different Eggmans, I believe. He's not gonna get away with this! And, yeah, Tails lacks the uh, homing attack, like Sonic does, so we have to be a bit more uh, accurate with our jumps. Uh, let's see, in Japan he was always named Dr. Eggman, in the West they oh, went with Dr. Robotnik because oh, there was fear of copyright disputes with <laughs> Apple Music, okay. Supposedly. Oh, so it's sort of like uh, Mega Man, how uh, it's Dr. Light uh, in some games, uh, in one region, and Dr. something else in the other. Oh, I am ball systems, full power. I'm completely in dark when it comes to Mega Man games. I have played the Nintendo 8-bit one. Yeah! That's it. Let's see, but they were never two separate people, okay. Alright, then I've been misinformed for it, but tell me, in all games, Robotnik, and in games and movies and series, not to go, they never met, they never wrote up the comics. That they, they, they were different people, which always made me confused there. That was um, just too easy! Gotcha! Hey, he snagged it! Chaos could use a little snack. Who's Chaos? <laughs> the 
That's the monster I saw the other day. Uh, monster? You're looking at living liquid <laughs> tails. What else would you really call it? Yes, yes, yes. It's really happening. Just as the stone tablet said it would. <laughs> Hear this, Sonic. Chaos of strength increases every time I give him a Chaos Emerald. All he needs is seven emeralds to become invincible. Then he will turn Station Square into rubble, upon which I will build the ultimate city, Robotnik Land. <laughs> you may be chaos. Let's go find the next one. Come on. Flash bomb again. He should use those more often. Thank goodness they're gone. Good written. We can't let that monster get any bigger. It could get ugly. You're right. Chaos must be stopped. And he can be if we keep him away from more emeralds, right? So what do you say, Sonic? Let's find the Chaos Emeralds before Eggman does. <laughs> yep. Okay. And the question is... Please? Whose story is the correct one? Uh, I think they basically all have a core of truth in them. Like, they will cover the same things mostly. Also, we need to get the key before that can be done. <clears> hmm. <throat> there we go. As Lazarus is saying, the Sonic Adventure 2 does feature another Robotnik, Dr. Eggman's grandfather, Gerald Robotnik. These days, Sega just you know, says his full name is Dr. Ivor Robotnik with Eggman as his villain's nickname. Yep, they, they, people might have been telling, talking about different uh, Robotniks. Come on, there we go. Possibly. And I completely forgot that Tails can actually do a tailspin attack. Okay. This speedy run is more like a very speedy walk than run. The third, yeah, but there were never different Robotniks. No, never different Ivro Robotniks, yeah. Different family members of the Robotnik family, more. And kick. And yet. And yeah, this is what uh, the gimmick with Tails for a good part is going to be. We're going to race Sonic. And since we can fly, we can find paths that Sonic couldn't. I'm pretty sure there was a spring over on the side there. Does that mean... Mm -hmm. No, this must be false, but there's no way Tails is faster than Sonic. Yeah, he is not. But he can take different paths that are shorter. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep. Yeah, Sonic can't use those rings and such, but Tails can. Plus just stuff that's out of his reach and such. Mm. Alright. Oh, the heck built this! <laughs> and why? And there we go. Let's see, the only Robotniks in the entire franchise canonically have been Dr. Eggman slash Robotnik, his grandfather Gerald, and his cousin Maria the Robotnik. There's a Maria Robotnik? That... I'm surprised I haven't heard about that one. <laughs> Yeah, probably because you've only, if you have heard of her, you've probably only heard of her with her first name. But we'll get to that when we get to one of the other games. And there, there have been a few other Robotniks besides that, but those would be soft spoilers for other games. Uh, I never heard of any character named Maria in Sonic. Okay, that, that, that'll make the surprise all the better. Oh, so I guess they will appear in one of the games we be play? Yep. And that is all I'll say to that, to avoid uh, potential spoilering. 
All right, I guess it's not the tiny girl from the late, uh, other latest Sonic game that came out a while back ago. So can we go straight to the casino now? Okay, it look, looks like we can go straight here. Okay. And we don't need no stinking boots to get up there and hit the button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we fell so hard at this that we just got chucked straight into the sewer. <laughs> okay, so Tails makes for an absolutely horrible <laughs> pinball player. I don't, I don't know also why you would have a pinball machine in a casino. Uh, because they couldn't actually put uh, actual gambling in this game. Point taken. Hey, that also means you should just be okay, not a casino. Hmm. All right, Tails. Okay, Sonic got ahead of us. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, we 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 know Sonic. You, you made it. You can you can stop glowing at Joe. God damn it. Uh. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Cut him off at the last bit. Okay. That wasn't Ooh. too bad. But he's still going in the background, hitting every spike along the way from the looks of it. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Lazarus, there really haven't been any other Robotniks, though, he says with the tongue sticking out face. And well, we know how this goes. What's that? The Chaos Emerald! Get away from there! Ah! Not tonight! <laughs> Okay, I do gotta give him credit for just bull rushing them right out the gate. Um. Uh, Sonic, what happened to the Chaos Emerald? Ah, uh, Eggman got one of them, but the other one's safe. He must be getting desperate. Now the Emerald count is two to one, and Eggman's winning. Let's get a move on. This melody is not a bad I'm getting a little bit tired of. <laughs> and yeah, again, he probably could have just killed them right there and then by shooting them in the head or something. But uh, he. Like we said or, you know, during the first room of this game, he gets tunnel visioned as all, like all hell. So his thoughts were probably only on get the emeralds and feed chaos. Don't rating. That as well, yeah. <laughs> or at least tie them up in some way or chuck him in the sea because Sonic can't swim. Oh, uh, yeah. That is if he were. Well, the ice stone in the mystic ruins. Again, each rating. Yeah. The train headed for the. Take a lot of things that only be work in an each rated game if there is a way for them to escape said thing. <laughs> Yeah, plus there, <laughs> there wouldn't be much of a game if you would just kill them right out on there. Yeah. So yeah, you will not do well for making eight ready games, Hill, for some of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, now I just imagine you tried to make a game and you accidentally... Instead of making an adventure game, you accidentally make a horror game. So, uh... What Scott Carlton had with uh, that Chippers and Sun game of his. Kinda, uh, yeah. Actually, where is the ice stone again? We needed to open the door there. But where was it? I, oh, I, I'm being an idiot. It's it's next to the casino. It was they the actually they actively showed it spawning. <laughs> they forgot about it instantly. Oh well. At least the short the load times are really short. Uh, Hill? Captain? Hmm? 
Do you remember to tie your shoes today? Yeah, I, I don't have play, I don't have laces in my shoes, so I don't need to. Good on, sir. Good on, sir. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I I use those stepping shoes, the ones that you just have to pull the back away a bit, and you can just put your foot in. In part because I would just get really freaking annoyed by the laces coming loose at just random moments. I think it was sleeping shoes. That, that might be the correct word of it. Yeah, I don't know what they're act. Yeah, I don't know what they're actively called. Sleeping shoes is something else. Uh. Like, you know, the ones you don't sweep that makes the sound. <laughs> I think those have a specific, uh, an even more specific name than that. Yeah, but people usually call them the stickings in shoes. Okay, put that there. And yeah, I, I, I like that the game shortcuts things a bit, but since we've already gone, we, we already have the major beats of the story and such. So, it skips over some of them, to speed things along some. Come on, Tails. Yep. Yeah, Tails' levels are a lot shorter, I believe, in total. See you later, Tails. Oh, shut up, Sonic. Okay, now he's just taunting. Okay. We need to hit some speed boosts to get ahead. I don't think this ice actually slows any of us down, and he just he just made a big mistake there on the turn. Oh no. He just had a flashback. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, motherfucker. He just had a flashback with it. Horrible Sonic series. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I think I just remembered there might be a show of a painting of Eggman's mother. <laughs> okay. And she was also bald and had a mustache. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> and again. As I repeat, he was with the bad Sonic series, I forgot his full name. So yeah, I... both of them look rather grotesque. Okay, I can't really yeah. tell who's ahead now. Yeah. Okay, this, this is about neck to neck or so. Uh, Mr. Jump, uh, there he is. Uh... Lazarus, I hope it's never gonna be counted, but that show was horrible. Even as a kid, I hated that show. The only time I actually got interested in Sonic Proper was the old show. Is apparently it was at the same time, but not in Sweden. Was the one where the robotic was actually terrifying with a space armada. Yes, sad I am. Yeah, the, the, I still hate it. That wasn't very, too bad. Uh, Basically, most of the time I saw <laughs> in the the show, with maybe a red episode I could see, was I saw the intro, then I had to leave for school. Yeah, maybe That's we should really... add that one to the to, uh, to our to watch list because it is an actually good show, one that never got resolved, but still. I will. I, I want to do that. I want to do that. Okay. For there has been many scenes I wanted to watch, but had that I would have saw. The intro music, then school, like X Men as an example. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's it. But, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, Adventures no. of Sonic the Hedgehog and Mama Robotnik. Yeah, oh, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog were basically the Looney the Tunes version. Station Square will be departing soon. Yeah, yeah the, the Looney Tunes Looney version Tunes. of uh, the Sonic series. That's pretty mildly. <laughs> yeah, maybe more Ren and Stimpy. No. Actually, actually, no, Ren and Stimpy is way worse than all of its shows. 
And from what I've heard, uh, some very questionable things have come up about the creator of that show. Doesn't the interdependent uh, episodes that... Yeah, there have actually been some bad episodes of that. Or show episodes that only re-released for Adult Swim for obvious reasons. And uh, scenes that were obviously banned for obvious reasons. Yeah. Go to the Mystic Ruins. You uh. might find something. Oh, I, I know what to do now. We, we're going to run into Knuckles here. But I, 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 thought the, I, I thought the announcements at these were mostly playing whenever they wanted you to go onto them and to the other area again. Oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, I think the best thing I can say about Adventures of, the, uh, of Sonic the Hedgehog would probably be the two... Uh, <laughs> the two slapstick bots. Uh, I forgot, I'm blanking on their name. And maybe the uh, Sonic Says bits as well, like small PSAs at the end of episodes. Yeah, and maybe in the I, middle. I it was very Americanized. Hey Knuckles, what's up? Wow. Wow. What are you doing, Knuckles? Don't mess with me now. Just hand over the emeralds you have, quick. No way, Knuckles! <laughs> oh no! Oh! First time I noticed that there's an actual counter of the amount of hits we need in the upper right corner. Oh no! Was that there with Sonic as well? The only school. I don't remember him doing that! At the hovering? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's kind of uh, Knuckles' thing. He, can f oh, he no. can't fly, but he can hover like that. And Scratch and Grounder were the names, okay. Everyone makes a fool out of you. <laughs> four! Count them! Four emeralds! I summon chaos! Come forth! Yeah, Knuckles used to be really easy to trick. Not, if, not sure how far that still goes, since well, it's been decades that he's been getting tricked plenty of times, and I think he figured it out not to trust Eggman at the oh, absolute no. least. Others might have more luck, though. Yeah, here we go oh, so with this one again. Very thick-headed and surprisingly innocent. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I saw Knuckles is not the uh, best with people skills, to put it that way. Yeah, and the reason, the reason I knew that was for a... I, I don't know if someone showed me the clip or some clip, or I just found the clips of uh, Roach doing the hidden outdoor jokes that yeah, really Roach. flew across his head. <laughs> Yeah. And there. And scratch mm -hmm. and ground are great. Like, I don't know what we call they call them here in Sweden. Mm -hmm. I think everyone else just called them. Basically, I mean, we translated what we call them. Uh, Rooster and Driller. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Exactly what it says on the pin. Yeah, and I gotta get, guess Scratch was the rooster and Grounder was the driller. 
<laughs> I see what I about it. When we did some great play of the new very old school Sonic, I was always confused of why was there no scratch or grounder in them. Let's Not sure we've seen best. that attack uh, Sonic. Yeah, that, that's because they were only canon to uh, the adventures. I think they are sometimes referenced in other games and shows, but uh, otherwise they are just stuck in <laughs> adventures only. Yeah, Sega decides to re revamp them. It <clears throat> yeah, nowadays uh, Eggman has her Q-Bot and Orbot as his sidekicks, which are very much like Grounder, uh, Scratch and Grounder. And yeah, I gotta agree, Lash, it's not very original with the names there in the Swedish Behold one. I... <laughs> I think you need to give it a polish, Eggman. It looks dusty as all hell. Hey, we can't let him get away. Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado. Yeah. You guys go. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Come on! Let's get going! Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, I thought you had somewhere to go, Knuckles. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? That's what I, I should be asking you. Oh, uh, Knucklehead. Uh, I also should have said this, but you gave me almost a heart attack earlier. No. Sonic, I wait for, here for a second. Last time I thought you somehow keep under the ground, but no, you just uh, jump into a hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why that was not the design an extra pilot seat is beyond me. Yeah, because Sonic has a habit of standing on top of the other parts. <laughs> Even in the other games. Okay, here we go again with this. Yeah, I like that even in it, even in the technically the same cutscenes, the perspective gets changed a little bit. So we're not they're not just rehashing the exact same thing. Yeah. And we are to soon in the stream. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we can end it after this one. And continue on Thursday. And yep. yeah, not, not all... <clears throat> Sonic's and Tails' stories are generally the same, for this part at least. Yeah, we did split up with Tails at a certain point, and he has other things that he did as well. But things will be more different with some of the other characters. Like with Knuckles, we'll get to see what the hell he's been doing all the time that we didn't see him. And with Amy, and with Gamma and Big as well. So, story-wise, Tails and Sonics are the most similar. Yeah, but the other ones, I guess, is will be different for the world. Very much in different areas compared to Tails and Sonic. Yeah. Plus, well, so I think the game, I think the developers sort of expected you to switch a bit between Tails and Sonic, since he is the app, he, you unlock him after the very first level. Hmm. And there probably is a sort of. Uh, not, no. Not canonical, but uh, 
but it would be the words it, it probably is a way to do all the characters in a, a bit of a timeline thing like starting with who was <clears throat> with who the story starts first and such and then swapping with two other characters as you meet up with their uh, points but then we we probably be doing a, the same level uh, over with just different characters hmm. okay <clears throat> and then we're pulling ahead again i believe to be shot we down yep Also, lower poly Sonic. Uh oh. Just the president take off more. Yeah. Well, something Tails was. Uh, moving to the side there to try and avoid the blasts but otherwise yeah. the, if he hadn't they would have been instantly vaporized i'm pretty sure yeah actually they would have been less confusing about that if you actually saw the beam you get to see a bit of it but not most of it and it looks like it wasn't just the tornado that got shot down by that it, Right, no, there was a flashback. Mm, wow, that dream brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. Sonic! Wonder where he went. Sure hope he's all right. The tornado's not powerful enough. If I'm going to get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work. Looks like I better find one fast. Um... Also, that's a weirdly sound for a waterfall that size. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it sounds like someone taking a leak. <laughs> and yeah, well, here's where no, the pot like splits. It's a water hose, not no someone taking a leak. <laughs> no, you're making me concerned. We must find the Chaos Emerald, but searching in the jungle is very difficult. Okay. Let's uh, keep going until we hit another save bit. And then we'll go look for someone to raid. You mean in less than a minute? Yeah. Okay. And now we're over here. We. And. Well, that looks familiar, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, what the? Oh, okay, I, di I didn't know that those things unfold. Okay. And the door is blocked, though. Okay. Maybe you entered hmm. the one that opened it up? Like a stair? Chair? Something? Yeah, the statue on the side, it, it unfolded like a... You know, those unfolding toys, I'm blanking on the name of them. Yeah, I, I did see that. I just meant maybe you're supposed to use it. I don't think so. And we can't go in there. Okay, we must... We must need... We probably need to find something around here. But for the most part, I'm just looking for a save point now. Since the stream timer just went off. 
And I, I think this is just climbing up to the entrance again. Yep. Okay. Um, Weird sound Ailes is making. Yeah, there's a bit of an odd grunting noise. Okay. Just right back yeah, here over. again. Ooh, hello. I've been in the jungle for months, and my sweet wife is all alone in Station Square. I do miss her so. Okay, I think we've met her a few times. There was a bit of a glitch there. Let's see. Just need to find the next area, then we can put a save. Yeah, then we can get a save point and call it there. Though I don't think we have. I don't think we'd have to go too far back in the he hello. Uh, hey, I found a super large footprint. I just know there is a huge monster around here. Okay. Uh oh. If, I, if it's saved there, I completely missed it. And hello there. I think people can take a guess as to whose house this might be. He even has a freaking, a freaking mailbox. Uh, let's I think it's a cat, otherwise I'm concerned. Okay, nothing here. Let's see, do we really need to go do something with the ruin then? <laughs> the entrance was blocked. Oh, there we go. Wow! There's a Chaos Emerald! Hey! Wait up! Stop! Well, ain't that a bitch, huh? And this area is blocked, what? Uh, oh, oh, wait, up. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Hello. Okay, that opened it up. Or undrained it, at least. Okay. What? Sand Hill subgame. Uh, okay, I still haven't seen a, I still haven't seen a uh, save pop up, so I guess we'll just have to go through this first. Uh, uh, oh, it, well, I guess we get our stone snake boss all the same. <laughs> it's a different one. Yeah, a lot bigger and a lot less aquatic. You see, it has almost a more plastic design to it. Uh, there we go. We got stuck for a bit. Okay. This shouldn't take too long. And we, the game should save after this. Taking paths. And yeah! okay, there was a critter there. I couldn't see what it was. So it, it probably was the frog. Up, oh, yep. for today so let's move on over here and we go look for someone to raid so let me close off the game and let's see there Ugh. and move this over so i don't have to crane my neck to look <laughs> okay change the screen share so the can see there and there okay there's a yeah there's a good amount of people online so i think i'll just listen this down to a few uh, let's see. 
Smoking Into Potion Team the Diver. Uh, who? Let me see. Um. Oh, no, you were you were reading out how many were yeah Dave the Diver is one of the yeah, categories on here. Four point three k. Okay. Yeah. Did they put out a new update or something? Let's see. Anyways, we have Hisaya Rosier with Subnautica. So Mr. Moon Seal is playing World of Warcraft again. Uh, Grim the Wolf is playing the Elder Scrolls. Yep, Skyrim, of course. Code named Ferret is playing Call to Arms uh, Gates of Hell. Then we have Swoops on the Nonsense with uh, Project Zomboids. Okay, anyone in here you see that, uh, that you would pick or shall I take a uh, one? Who named Ferret? Uh, has me kind of curious. Call to Arms Gates of Hell, what the heck is that? Let's take a peek then. Let's see, I'm guessing it's uh, World War II-ish. Yep, World War II uh, strategy from the looks of it. So I can't say if it's... Right. Yeah, it's... Hmm? Oh, all right, it's just here. Okay. okay. Curious with line... It has line of sight stuff. And is... <laughs> they just ran oh. over an enemy soldier with a with a APC. Or... <laughs> Okay, so we rate them or someone else? Uh, yeah, we can rate someone else. A bit unsure who. Uh, Touchgate so is playing Teardown. And we have Dr. Misunderstood with Oracle of Seasons. Okay. Shall I just, pick? <laughs> Shall I just take a pick? Uh, I did say uh, we let you take a pick. Yeah. I missed that bit, or it got it either missed or cut it cut out from Discord. I think we still need to figure that out somewhat. Actually, it uh, hasn't done that at all this episode. Okay. As far as hmm. I know. And maybe the changes I made help with that. And let's see, Lashris, thanks for streamery. <laughs> You're welcome, Lashris. I hope you'll have a nice day. Uh, now let's go see Doctor Misunderstood. Okay. Copy the name. Head to our place. And slash raid and paste. But before we you know, before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Lazarus. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Pizza Lover. And let's see. Do we have any lurkers around? Yeah, not. It seems not. Okay. <clears throat> and thank you as always, Drakir. You welcome us always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. And yeah, uh, maybe we'll do Valheim stream tomorrow if Glacier Boy is available, uh, and well, if they're up for it as well. <clears throat> and yeah, we'll continue with Sonic Adventure of the Dreamcast er version on Thursday. <clears throat> but beyond that, uh, yeah, just the usual. <clears throat> Yeah, past that, just the usual weekend shenanigans, but that'll have to wait for then. So let's get that rate started. Yeah, no block. Okay. Well, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well, and watch out for undead seagulls. And Robotnik, just in general. Now it's good to watch out for them.